Hi everyone, this video is a follow along video where I'll be sharing my usual ab routine which also includes lots of stretches for mobility and flexibility which is important if you want to prevent injuries and also improve your skills. We're starting off with a hip flexor stretch because when we do ab exercises like leg raises, our hip flexors are used to lift our legs up. If you're having trouble balancing when getting into this movement, you can always put your hands on the floor. And if you're not flexible enough to get your legs straight, you can lift up slightly so that your legs are still straight but still feeling the stretch. Now I'm switching sides. When you're doing the hip flexor stretch, you want to tilt your pelvis forward so that you feel the stretch in your hip flexors. You don't want your back leg to be too far back because then you're stretching a different muscle. getting into a hamstring stretch and you want to keep your leg straight and flex if you need a deeper stretch. If not, then point your toes and go as far as you can if you can't reach your knees. Whenever you stretch, try to take deep breaths and just relax into the stretch. I'll be getting into a downward dog position and in this position you want to aim to get your legs straight and also your back completely straight. If you need to deepen the stretch, you can always bend one leg while keeping the other straight so that you're getting a deeper stretch. But if you're not flexible enough, that's okay. Just breathe into it and don't force the position. Eventually, if you are consistently practicing, you will get the position, so don't force your muscles and injure yourself. I'm just doing some wrist warm-ups here by leaning into my hands, putting weight and pressure into my fingertips. Beginning set one with leg raises. What I'm doing here is lifting my shoulder blades off the ground and lowering my legs as far as I can without lifting my lower back. If you lift your lower back, then you'll be causing a lot of strain on your lower back which can lead to injuries. To make this easier, you can have your whole upper body lie flat on the ground. Put your hands just below your butt and try to lower your legs as far as you can without your lower back leaving the ground. So engage your core 
and just lower your legs to where you're able to. Eventually, you'll be able to get it low enough as your core strength develops. Okay, now we're getting into alternating leg raises. So the idea is the same, just alternate your legs. Now we're doing crisscross leg raises. So you can do it parallel or like what I'm doing, I'm turning out my legs a little bit. Now we're getting into the second set, starting off with the heel touch crunch. So here just lift your shoulder blades as far off the mat as you can and reach for your heels. Now we're doing alternating toe taps, so opposite arm to your opposite leg and just reach for your opposite, well, I wasn't touching my toes but reach for your toes. Now we're getting into a plank, so just try to keep your whole body in a straight line and engage all your muscles. Try your best to keep your hips low if it is too high. If the full plank is too difficult for you, then just go on your knees but keep your hips low. We're going to do this plank with a leg raise and we'll be switching legs later on. If you're unable to do this, it's okay, just do the plank. Okay, we're switching legs now. We're going for the up-down plank, and when you're doing this, just try to keep your body stable. In the plank position, we're just going to go straight into a push-up negative and hold the position at the end.
for the first set, starting with leg raises again. After this, we're going straight into alternating leg raises. We're just going to breathe a little bit. And then we're going to do some crisscross leg raises. Now we're getting into set 2, starting with the heel touch crunch. Okay, now we're going for the alternating toe tag. So right after we rest a little bit, we're going back into the heel touch crunch because I forgot that we already did that. Now we're going for the plank hold and then switching legs like we did previously. Sorry, we're gonna have to do this again. This is the last time this is happening in this video. Raise one leg. Now 
switch. We're getting into up down planks. Now we're going to go from the plank position into a push up negative with a hold at the end. We're going for an ab stretch and then stretch out your back. Getting into set three. This is the last set, but don't worry, there'll be lots of stretches and cool downs in between each exercise. So now we're going for the reverse plank. Make sure that when you're doing this exercise, your hips don't drop. Now we're going to go into the modified V-sit crunch. When you're doing this exercise, try your best to keep your movements controlled. Modified V-sit crunches, we're going straight into the hollow body hold.
We are going into the pike hole position and in this position you want to be on your tiptoes and put as much weight as possible into your arms and fingertips. Keep your body straight and your legs straight as well. We are going to do sitting leg lifts and this exercise is great for learning how to do the L sit. We are going to go back into the reverse plank. We're doing squat to heel raises now, so on the way down, control your movement and then on the way up, explode up and go on your tippy toes. After about 10 reps, I usually hold the squat there for a few seconds. it there. Okay, another 10. Hold it there again. We're dying.
completed the whole ad routine and I'm just gonna show you a few clips of what I usually do after my ad routine which is like skill sessions, just practicing, balancing and handstands. It would be great if you could leave a like if this helped you out in any way. And if you'd like to see any other videos or would like me to elaborate on certain things, then let me know down in the comment section. And subscribe. Bye.